It was billed as the Small Sat Express. Last December, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from California with 64 small satellites on board. U class spacecraft, more commonly known as CubeSats, are pouring into space these days. This is a typical CubeSat. They're a kilogram and a half or less in weight and used to perform space and Earth science and to collect data. They're cheaper, lighter, less costly than a, a massive satellite that's as big as a school bus. And they were a prime focus at this year's space symposium in Colorado Springs. The space field has seen enormous change and growth in the 35 years that this leading space industry event has been held. And smaller satellites are just the latest example. Over the past five years, I've been able to see quite a substantial growth. Matt Carton works for Blue Canyon Technologies, which builds CubeSats for academic, commercial, and government customers. Technology has sort of pushed it. Uh, as things have gotten smaller and smaller, um, capabilities have been able to get better and better in a smaller package. The spacecraft, often launched as secondary payloads on other missions, are frequently deployed in low Earth orbit, where satellite constellations now help provide better communications and Internet connectivity on Earth. A variety of manufacturers now help outfit CubeSats within the case of MMA design, deployable solar arrays, and antennas. The small sat industry is a leader in innovation and disruption. Owner Mitch Ween says because of their size, low cost, and relatively short life, several years, CubeSats can constantly be reinvented. InnoFlight, which builds electronics for small satellites, has found that too. So you can leverage sort of the, the latest commercial off the shelf that only needs to last for two to three years versus having to do these really expensive radiation tolerant parts and that, that really don't give you the performance anywhere close to what you can have now. In fact, less hazardous propulsion technology for these spacecraft is on the way. The sky is not the limit for CubeSats, two of which ventured into deep space last November to notify scientists of the Mars InSight landing. When it comes to satellites, bigger may not be better. Yes, yeah, smaller and, 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 and more is better. <laughs> While satellite traffic and cybersecurity remain concerns in the industry, there's no doubt a CubeSat boom is underway. It's exploding. It's so exciting. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Colorado Springs.